Hello and welcome back to Skyrim with me and Lydia and Llewellyn. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, I didn't want to get that out. Um, first of all, let's drop our soul collecting crossbow off here. Um, we're now going to go and jump down here. We are going to, I've already picked up some arrows, um, as you can see, I'm going to drop the bolts in here, because we have, well, I'm going to show you quickly, if I uh, quickly go to Vampire Lord, boom. Here we go. I did a little bit of leveling by killing stuff off camera, so. And as a trophy. You give me, there we go. Right, that just leaves killing a, a legendary dragon for the Dawn Guard DLC. Um. I also figured out how to get married. Uh, you have to wear an amulet of Mara, so we'll do that at some point. Now, what did I do with my Daedric bow? Did I leave that upstairs? Probably. Let's have a look. Anyway, this episode, what we're doing is we are going to join the Stormcloak Rebellion as soon as I find my fucking bow. Um, which means I am going to hopefully be given a set of Stormcloak armor and then I'm going to cut uh, oh, while I come back something? and upgrade it. No, I don't need anything at the moment, Llewellyn. He kind of sounds like one of the um, uh, African people from Tarzan, like that sort of name. Uh, where are we going? Off to... Was it Windhelm? Yep. Right, let's go to Windhelm and talk to Ulfric. Kenareth is the goddess of the air. This is obviously episode 200, so it's a big number. So, hopefully, we can get a bit of a uh, decent thing going on. I think what we're going to do is talk to Ulfric. And then uh, start that along that line, and then in oh what should we do episode which episode number should we go for getting married um i don't know i'll think about it anyway let's talk to alfric and hopefully get along the lines of oh, this Okay, now we can listen to him. From Where is he? The empire is putting a great deal of pressure on white run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. Okay. Hmm. Helga, now. Eh? Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Yeah, but first, tell me, why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Because I have a few homes here. So you only take on <laughs> you only take Nords. Skyrim is home to more than just Nords. I want to fight the Empire. I'll bleed. Uh, I'll bleed for the chance to do so. Uh, can't fault anyone for that. As long as you hate the Empire as much as I do, that I can work with. Oh, that's lucky for me then, isn't it? That's why I'm here. I want to join. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. Uh, I can handle anything you throw at me. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. How about Daedric weapons? I'm sending weapons? you to Serpent Stone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. What's at Serpent Stone Island? It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. 
Something about that place attracts the Ice Wraiths. You kill an Ice Wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Okay. Does every re recruit have to do this? Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. I'm off to kill an Ice Wraith. Uh, I'll be back soon. We'll see about that, won't he we? He knows that. They all I guess know so, that. bitch. How long are you going to wait? See, I told you they were slightly racist. Towards anyone that isn't a Nord, but you. we can get away with just doing sort of shit. Or like, having to prove ourselves sort of thing. Oh, fuck off. Um, That's probably the closest place we have. You heard it. Uh, I also leveled up my um, pickpocketing. Uh, turns out it's actually quite easy if you just pickpocket jewelry from people. Because it's like level 70 something now. Oh no, level 80. And I put two in there. Right. Which, that way. Oh, hello. Oh, it's okay, it's up there. Well, Lydia, let's head off to Southern Stone Rock. Jog on there. Yeah, have some of that, bitch. Beautiful. Right, off we go. Oh, now we've uh, put the crossbow away. We're gonna need to um, favorite that and link that to number two. And now we've got a bug. And I brought 842 arrows, uh, steel arrows with me as um, well, we have like nearly 2,000 Dwarven ones, oh uh, no, uh, Ancient Nord ones, like 120 Dwarven, 1,400 iron, but we were using steel bolts, so I thought, fuck it, we'll just use steel arrows to go on. Eh. Oh, if you want to fight, I can level up my iron a bit more. Bitch. Oh, hello. We'll take the hawker stuff because we're going to need that for when I go and build the other two houses. Um, we've pretty much finished the house now, I think. Like the um, Lakes View Manor or whatever it was called. Like the main house that we've been in for fucking ages. Um, I think I've actually... No, the only thing that's missing is uh, we need some um, amulets to finish off the shrines in the basement. But apart from that, we're pretty much done. Whereas, we haven't even started the other two. But I am confident with the amount of money we've got, we could probably buy all the metal we need. And all the wood. It just will require us to go and collect things like uh, mud crab, chitin, um, bear hides, wolf hide. Well, we got loads of them anyway. Can we get up here, please? Oh, it's a fucking standing stone. Fair enough. I haven't done this in fucking ages. It's been like six years. Maybe five since um, I last did the Stormcloak Rebellion. Coming out of uh, role playing as if right now. As anyone that's been watching this in the entire way through will know, I've been pretty much role playing the entire way through um, as if I hadn't played the game before when I have. It's just the DLCs that I haven't really done much on. Well, so, there we go. Job's done. Can I have the loot, please? Oh, there it is. What does this one do, then? Once a day under the sign of the serpent, can you use a range paralyzed poison on our opponent? Yeah, I don't think we want that. Right. 
dickhead. Oh, no, we don't want to fast travel there. We want to go to the palace. That's a steel sword, I believe. No, a silver sword. That's one of the ones that the werewolf hunters used, the silver hand. I think. Do, 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 episode 200. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, I just closed the door. Someone left it open. Idiots. Can I come in now? Tell me again why we're wasting time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Okay. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. And damn the moot. We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's woman on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the cool. You're Shish alive. A minute. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. No, well, thanks for the I support, I misjudged you. Glamour. You're definitely Stormcloak Glamour. material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Um, sure, you saying you sent me out there to die. <laughs> Isn't it enough that I went? I want to fight the Imperials? Um, let's go just with Oath. Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. Uh, I'm ready to take the oath. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us. A hero of the people. A true son of Skyrim. A Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters <laughs> in arms. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Awesome. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. Well, there we go. Got another trophy. Uh, sure. What's the mission? I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed... Don't Sorry wait about around. that. What? What's the mission? We're headed to Corvanjoon. But if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Okay. What's the Jagged Crown? Have you not heard that ancient verse? Maw unleashing rays of snow. Of dragons from the blue brought down. Birds the walking winter's woe. The High King in his Jagged Crown. Going way back to King Harald's time, or even before, the High King always wore the Jagged Crown. It was the symbol of his might and power. The crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and it is said to contain a portion of the power of every king who has worn it. True or not, who would dare deny Ulfric's claim when the legendary jagged crown sits upon his brow. Okay. How do you know the crown is in Corvangend? It's true. 
The location of the crown was lost with King Borgas after the great hunt killed him while he was off on his damned Alessian campaigns. But legend holds his body was secretly returned to Skyrim and buried with the crown. Its exact whereabouts lost in the following wars of succession. Okay. Through sources that shall remain nameless, I've tracked down what I believe to be the final resting place of King Borgas, Corvanjun. If the crown exists, it will be there. If you say so. Uh, you anticipate danger? Aye. The Great Hunt killed old King Borgas. Gods only know with what profane arts those elves cursed his remains. I'm an elf. Curses You're racist fuck. The tombs of kings are always full of traps to ward off grave robbers, are they not? But nothing a band of stormcloaks can't handle, I assure you. Well, I can do it on my own. What are your reasons for joining the war? Reasons? Since when does a man need a reason to protect his family, to defend his homeland? Okay, it's you have a point. Outlanders and Empire that need the reasons. You have a point. Um, hasn't Skyrim always been part of the Empire? Um, I guess we'll ask him that. Not this Empire. The world's better without it. Certainly Skyrim is. I fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. I bled and spilled blood for the Empire. And for what? the Empire to bend its knee before those evil elf bastards. Again, no need Signing to be racist. Signing a treaty meant to kill the heart of the Empire itself? To deny Talos? No. I will have no part of any such Empire. And I will gladly gut anyone who says otherwise. Fair it enough, exists. dude. And it will be the symbol of the righteousness of well, our cause. Well, I'm going to cut here while I go home and uh, upgrade this armor, and then I will be back.